Want to find out how you could go from 450 all the way to 500? Or maybe you're stuck at 470 and you don't know how to progress and get any further? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you could go from 450, 470 all the way to 500 super duper easy fast without even shooting a bullet. As of uh, this is LazyBull and in today's video we're going to be talking about how you could go from 450, 470, whatever number you're stuck in, all the way to a whopping 500. It's going to be super easy and the coolest thing about this actually way you're able to level up is the fact that you probably won't be shooting many ads. It's just a matter of knowing where to go, what to get and what to do it. Now you probably may be seeing some other videos similar to this but this one's actually going to be pretty different in the sense of how you're going to be able to level up after you hit a max total. So of course, what you wanna do first and foremost is visit every single vendor that's available to you. For example, there's two vendors in specifically that are gonna give you really, really good loot and definitely the ones you should definitely check out. The first vendor, of course, that being the vendor that's gonna be in the White House and that is gonna be your clan vendor. Now your clan vendor always is gonna have a gear score dependent on the gear score or the number that's kind of projected based on your clan. The higher gear score all your clan members have, the higher loot you'll be able to get. Now, thankfully for me, the clan has a really good, uh, you know, got a good rank or good rating right there. And we're able to get some pretty high end loot. As you see, most of the stuff that I have here is 480. Now, if you guys noticed when I started this video, you guys saw that my character was 470. I wanted to do this video in the sense where you're able to see me do everything in general. And then you're able to get the sense of how fast I'm leveling up just by doing this method. So I started at 470, uh, 471, I believe. And uh, we're, we're going to you're gonna see how much I'm able to go up just by doing this method. Now, after doing this, what you will need to do is, of course, visit the clan vendor, see what the clan vendor has, and anything that he has that's higher level than what you currently have, you're going to want to buy that. Now, please make sure you guys do not dismantle this gear because you want to make sure you keep in your inventory the highest value of the gear set. Now, I just went ahead and put these in my you know, main slots just for video purposes, but you don't have to do this. What I would recommend is activate the gear once and then you could put any other weapon in that slot. So for example, if you get a shotgun that's 480, you want to make sure you uh, you know carry that shotgun, activate it as if it was your primary, remove it, and change the weapon of your choice. Now, after you went ahead and upgraded everything, or you went ahead and purchased everything from the clan vendor, you should be roughly at least five levels from what you started up. So if you're 450, you're probably going to end up like at 455, 456, something around there. Uh, what you will need to do is then go to each individual sentiments. Now, the ones I recommend that usually tend to have higher gear items would definitely be the theater settlement that one you're going to head over there and just check if there's anything that you couldn't buy from your clan vendor you're going to want to check that he has anything in store that could give you a higher level gear so for that could be knee pads that could be uh, you know a chest piece that could be a backpack or anything that you're missing from what you couldn't get from your clan vendor you want to make sure you purchase from him after you've done that and you visited that member you definitely then after that want to go ahead and visit the dark zone vendor see if he has anything additional to that and just pretty much any other vendor that's currently found in the game after this you're going to want to definitely find a snitch so he could tell you where the hidden vendor is located once you visit the snitch he will give you his location i do have a video on his location but just to give you a rough idea i'm going to speed this video up so you guys could see when i talk to him and then I look for the vendor. Once you locate the vendor, of course, he's going to be anywhere in the map. You're able to identify the vendor by a shopping cart. Once you find the shopping cart, head over to that specific vendor and see if he has anything that is going to suit or if it's going to be a value. He has a 490 shotgun or a 490 weapon. And then this weapon's actually going to be pretty viable because if you don't have anything that's 490 or higher, this should boost you up a little bit more. Now, as you guys see in the video here, I went from 471 all the way to 481. That is 10 point difference from where I started from. So if you're 450, it's probably going to be a little bit more of a gap that you're going to be shooting for. But as you, I just wanted to give you kind of a base idea of how you're able to do that. Now, after your 480 or 450, 470, 475, wherever you're at, what you want to do next is you're going to want to make sure you keep all the gear that's high leveled in your inventory. After this, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you do my farming high end gear loot route. Now, this loot route is by far the best route you could possibly take. It'll take you roughly between an hour to complete all these routes. You're going to be opening between 40 crates 
it simultaneously. And sometimes what's going to happen is by the time you're midway to this route, you're going to have to go back to the White House and sell stuff and, uh, you know, come back to the route. So I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can definitely go check out that video. And this route in particular should get you another roughly either, depending on where you're at in level, should get you another roughly 10 points higher up or should get you really, really close to that 500 mark. Now, by the time you're done with the complete route, you should be at least in the 485's 490 realm. Now, how exactly do you progress from 490 all the way to 500? Then what you will need to do is you're going to want to make sure you craft yourself an exotic 500 weapon. If you want to kind of have an idea of how you're able to do that and craft an exotic uh, weapon or upgrade, I'll definitely have a video going over that so you guys can give you guys a better sense of how to upgrade that. I would have put it in this video. I just don't want to stretch this video too long. After you went ahead and grabbed your exotic weapon and you crafted it to 500, this should give you roughly in the 490s, 492, 493. Now, after this, you're going to then want to go and visit the recalibration station. You want to see what gear is the lowest out of all the gears you have. So, for example, if you have knee pads, if you have uh, gloves, whatever could be this, you know, the lowest gear possible, you want to make sure you look at that and want to recalibrate something to boots that gear set to make sure you guys are going higher the way you're able to determine this is you're able to click on the gear and select the gear you want to recalibrate once you select that gear it'll give you a number on the bottom of the stat number on how much you'll be able to go up in level the one that pushes you and boosts you to the higher level recalibrate that and that should get you like to 490 498 after that guys it's just a matter of doing any missions or any invaded missions or you just waiting another day to do the you know the loot run again, and you should be 500 in less than one day. Super easy, guys, with the fastest method possible that you could possibly find anywhere on the internet. So I highly recommend you guys give this a try if you guys are struggling or are very limited in time of having to grind things out. I know most of you guys are holding on to your invaded missions because you want to make sure that gear set drops to 500. So this is the fastest and best method you could possibly do this like in less than four hours and be 500 without a problem. I do hope you guys did find this video helpful and informative. If you did, do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a like, share this video with your friends because it does help me a lot. Don't forget, guys, make sure you guys click on that notification bell so you guys can get notified when videos go live in regarding the Division 2. If you guys have any additional questions in regarding to this video or anything in general, hit me up in the comment section down below or hit me up on any of my social medias. Uh, links are down below as well. You guys can contact me on any of those. If you guys ever want to stop by, have some chill time and relax, you know, just have positive vibes, definitely check us out over on Twitch. We stream every day. So make sure you guys stop by. Hit us with that follow on Twitch. You guys can know exactly when we go live. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, W-G-A-T-A-P. And I will catch you guys on the next video.